Law enforcement didn't have a definition for serial killers. That makes it so difficult to catch them. They took full advantage of that. And now, a sneak peek at the three-night limited series, Invisible Monsters. John Wayne Gacy's Ted Bundy is still alive. BTK, Jeffrey Dahmer. Green River Killer. There were no computers. No DNA. We didn't yet have the 911 system. All of a sudden, we had a monster in our midst. The ultimate serial killer is one that can hide in plain sight. How is that possible that you could kill 33 people and bury them under your house? He was smart, charismatic. He was totally invisible for what he was. The 70s in the United States was an innocent sort of place. It was easy for us in hindsight to say, well, why didn't that person get caught or why weren't people looking for them? Those police officers just simply did not have the tools that law enforcement officers have now. How many do I have to kill before I get a name in the paper? That was the moment that BTK became a household name. My mother had told me that the only thing she ever prayed for for herself was to die peacefully in her sleep. And that's the one thing she did not get. I am the only survivor of the Green River Killer. He was right in my face when he was attacking me. He had covered my mouth and I bit him. She had a critical piece of information that they hadn't had before. That was a turning point. We significantly improved our DNA databases. It was because of these individuals. Little did we know that would be the key to this case 20 years later. After all of this time trying to find this killer, I never told anybody. He did a terrible thing. Invisible Monsters starts Sunday, August 15th at 9 on A&E.